Here's our little blind painted turtle. Hey bud! This thing is the most friendly, well it's not really exactly friendly. <laughs> 90 to a... First things first, I clean the entire tank. Then I had to go outside, collect all the rock. What is going on, Gaferos? Let me tell you, it is beautiful out today, but very windy. <laughs> They're all singing to me this morning. Good morning, everyone. And all the ducks come out to me when I walk up now. They all come out under the fence. They say hi to me. There's our little mallard. Remember when we rescued that thing? Roll the clip. About to dock the boat and this little duck swims up out of nowhere. I was seeing mallards, these ducks that were swimming through the, you know, the channel and stuff throughout the day. We looked for the parents and everything. We couldn't find them. They must have lost this baby. That or they abandoned it. I don't know, but I have the footage of me. I was like, yo, Jake, record. Of me jumping into the water, grabbing this baby duck. Bro, he's just a little baby. Come here. He's oh, gonna come. Help. Yeah, he's stuck. He just fell good. So that's how we got the duck in the first place. Look at her now. Gary tells me every single time. And everyone goes. You guys gotta go make it under the fence. Go. Go. Another one. Dude, that's sick. I don't think I've ever heard you do that right in front of me like that. Goat food. Pig food. Look how low we're running already. This is like four days. These things eat hi Willow. They eat like crazy. Two scoops for them. And these guys get like three, four scoops. Scoop numero dos. Here you go. Duke, you guys are all getting so big. Baba, what's up, Baba? Oh, ew. You're soaking wet. Hey guys. You crazy little goats. Let's see if I can make it in there. Oh yeah. Perfect shot. Oh, Oscar. Holy moly. Oh my god. I'm coming guys, I'm coming. Oh, Lady May is fighting me. Let me open it. Have a good day. Thank you. So when I went to that pig rescue in Texas, I got some super cool ideas in order to get these pigs, you know, Willow and Batman, out of that enclosure and make them something over here. Initially I wasn't gonna do it. I have now pretty much used this part of the yard for storage. I got rocks back here, you know. The house, a couple pieces of like, I don't know. It was a super cool fence. It was like a, a, just stakes from like, you can get at like Home Depot, in the ground with metal attached to them, buried a little bit in the ground because then the pig digs, it can't get out. And I thought about it. That's a really good and very affordable way to make an enclosure for these pigs over here that I rescued. Now, as you know, these two pigs over here by Gary, they're eating right now, but I rescued them literally just walking around the neighborhood. My landscapers were like, hey, those are your pigs. I was like, no, and you know me, I had, I had to get them. So I brought them home. Put them into here, and now my enclosure looks like someone threw a grenade in here and it blew up all the grass. There's some beautiful, lush green grass, similar to over here, all around this. The ducks would lay their eggs in it. Unfortunately, now it's, a, it's, it's not the best looking enclosure. So I kind of want to get it back to looking green, nice and green. So I think I might do that fence thing right here uh, sometime soon, and we'll get those pigs into here. Say hi. <laughs> so crazy. Right in your face, my guy. Replay that. Oh, oh, wow. Three scoops for you guys. And that is equivalent to hopefully they all eat the same amount. Some eat faster than others, but a half a cup per pig for the morning and then a half a cup for You know, they get a cup a day. Like a full half of that cup. Is, it's big. <laughs> it almost looks like they got a lot of the hay out of the house and put it right here and they're sleeping on it outside of the house. Hello, Bob and Burger. How are you guys doing? I probably could have picked better names for you, but it's all right. <laughs> hey bud, this thing is the most friendly. Well, it's not really exactly friendly. I would not give you that. You are very nice. You like to be pet. You love the attention. A little girl's much better. I could literally pet her now. Oh, there's none left. I'll be right back. Open sesame. Cow. Oh, that's a full bag, gosh darn it. All right. Dude, that stuff smells so good. We got some fish food over here for the Paku as well. You know, the Paku are in there now. Oh, hello there, whoa! We give a little bit to the big guy so he gets distracted because he's destructive, literally. Little baby cow should be coming over here any second. 
big bowl is eaten up and I have yet to chop his right off so uh, he still has those things. There we go. Raw shrimp. Got a little bag of small shrimp. This is what I've been feeding that little red tail. And you know the Oscars and everything. We're gonna cut one piece in half, just like that, and uh, see if this red tail wants to eat. Look at that face. She's like, what? I put this little structure in there, so he's been sitting in it. Put both the shrimp inside that structure. He's in there, and I really don't wanna bother him, but we'll get some footage of him here in just a second. So I just sent the GoPro down there, rewatched the footage, and it's crazy. He ate. He ate already. So that's a good sign. He's eating. He's in his little structure, which he clearly loves. He's deep down in there, but you can see how the red tail has a fatter mouth. The gills are wide. It means he's got the shrimp in his belly. And also, the shrimp are gone. They're not even in there. So he ate. Good stuff. Looks like we're going to have a growing red tail. Yep. Now it's time to feed everything else that wants to eat shrimp. We're definitely going to have the smaller bass eat. We'll have all the Oscars eat. The gar will definitely take a bite. All these catfish are gonna eat. Look at our platinums right there. This platinum's not as platinum as, as that one. That one's like all white. Now the first thing to, oh, okay, well I dropped a piece. Watch how fast these Oscars eat. Bass is going Everything is eating amazing. Everything ate. Besides like, you know, the carp and the couple of their catfish are down here. So I'm gonna try to give them a try. Literally moving with thump here. That is also a full bag of shrimp. 90 to a windy. I was trying to show you. 90 to 100 shrimp. Alright, it is a couple hours later and I decided today's the day I'm going to do this aquarium in the tank room. Now the saltwater tank is going through its algae stage. All the fish and the corals and everything's doing amazing. Otherwise it has a lot of algae on the glass. As you can see, Tommy's coming weekly to do cleanouts on that. This is going through a little algae stage as well. But the glass has been clean, the water is clean. As you can see, both flower horns are happy and healthy. This guy is doing so much better. Gregothy the third. We have rock, so first things first, I clean the entire tank. That was probably the hardest part of this entire project, let's be honest, because scaping's always fun. Then I had to go outside, collect all the rock. After collecting the rock, I rinsed it down completely, and we are now here inside, ready to scape our turtle tank so the little turtles outside i wanted to bring them inside and you know get more personality out of them out there i don't really engage with them too much you know i'm not outside all the time and here i'm always in my office i'm always editing you know i'm always doing something in here so i feel like i can get them to like hand feed and do some cooler stuff if they're in here i did a poll asking you guys what i should do with this tank and a lot of it was Turtles. Everyone wanted turtles. So we're gonna do this tank. It's super easy. Nothing crazy. I mean, I have a couple of rocks, and then under all the rock, I have these like fake ferns that aren't in the best condition now. They've been in that outdoor turtle tank for a while, but they are gonna get some uh, greenery in there up above on the bank, not in the water, because I don't want them chewing that thinking it's real. Otherwise, it's gonna be an epic uh, little tank makeover. I gotta get all this junk out of this tank first. I'm just gonna swish it all to the side here, since it's not like, you know, it's just little pebbles. And I'm gonna use it as some uh, upper advantage, because we're gonna make like a hill here, you know what I mean? Half water tank, half land, and then we're gonna have a lamp up here. Well, it is as simple as that. I gotta get this nasty water out of here now, but otherwise, it's just a pile of smaller gravel where we are gonna then add rock on top of 
that, but not like on top of it because then this is going to be able to move around. Here, I'm going to build like a base. You'll see. All right, update. Um, it looks good. I'm working with only a, a couple things here. My goal for this project was to just use things around the house. I've been doing it a lot more lately, like leftover stuff. Then I'm not wasting stuff. I had a lot of leftover rock. Although they're two different kinds of rock, I don't care. This thing has just gotta be good enough for a turtle to survive in, and it is indeed. Look at this. So we got our initial layer of rock that we used to kind of build ourselves up, and it looks like rocks are kind of just thrown on each other, but if you look inside, it's not. This is actually like an uphill working, you know, here where the light's gonna be right here, so it'll be a lot hotter up here. The water will probably fill up to about there. And these turtles could just hang out. I left them a little cave up in there. There's another cave up in here. There's a bunch of caves they can go in. I tried to fill in these smaller ones so they couldn't get stuck. I wish I had some smaller gravel instead of the slate, but this is all I'm working with. So we're gonna actually get some more slate fill in here. I gotta suck this water out still and then fill up with some fresh water and we'll be good. Get a top for this, lights and filter. And then that of course leads to putting the turtles in. Boom, and now that most of the water's out of there, we can get more slate rock, fill that in and start filling up with water. All you scapers out there, you can laugh at me all you want. But you know what? This is DIY stuff. I'm working with so many materials here and we're making the coolest thing we could possibly make. And I think it looks good. Cool, let's do it. That is that, Kaferos. Now, so now the water's a little bit dirty, but that's just how the flower horn tank was. If you remember, it got real foggy, and then the filter clears it up. We don't have a filter for this tank. We also don't have the lights just yet, and I want to also get like a couple other things for this aquarium, like a thermometer that sits on the side, just so I can keep an eye on the temperature. A, a couple different things that I want to get for this. But uh, yeah, that's it. Once it clears up, it'll look real nice. The turtles will have, you see the water meets the rock right there. They'll have this whole rock to sit up on, and I even did another one over there there and then if the water ever does drop a little bit and I can't get to it they have that rock to swim on as well I don't even have a filter I don't have anything for it right now so we're obviously not gonna put the turtles in yet in the upcoming video probably the next video so with that being said make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss that here's our little blind painted turtle I figured out that he's definitely blind yeah he, uh, he doesn't really know exactly where he's going all the time but that's all right we got this guy we have our big yellow bellies as well which are these guys there getting so extremely big. They got mulch all over them. But these guys will be in there as well. And some bigger painteds and even some snapping turtles as well. Uh, I might get another soft shell too to add to the collection. But that'll be for further videos as well. This guy is so beautiful, look at that. Hey bud, what up? I just did a small water change so I am filling up the pond a little bit right now. But I tell you what, Kaferos, that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. I know it's not as long as my normal videos. It's definitely shorter, at least from what I believe I've filmed. All the ducks are out of the enclosure and inside the water from flushing the filter out. I love each and every one of you so much. If you want to check out the merch, it's top link in the description. We have a ton of new stuff on the site. And I try to tell you guys as much as I possibly can to go check it out. If you have some free time, go do so. You'll probably find something you like. Actually, I know you'll find something you like. PaulCaferoBrand.com. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like Kevin, what are you doing? Kevin's over here in the cow enclosure. He likes to roam the yard. He'll go in this pond and then fly back. Because remember, Kevin is a wild Muscovy duck. He is not mine. Well, he's mine now, but you know, he could fly away whenever he wants. He just chooses to stay here because of his food. Right, Kev? Great guy. What I was saying was hit the like button, smash it, smash it for me. My bro Brenton is flying out here soon, I believe next week, and we're gonna do the 24 hour dock challenge, so stay tuned, look forward to that. All of y'all have been blowing the comments up about that. That's gonna be an amazing video. I'm gonna spend 24 hours in the middle of my duck pond with my ducks. Gary is going to be, let's just say, so pleasing to listen to for 24 hours. From me and the turtles that will have a new home soon, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. You close it off for me, bud.
That's a that's a dope transition right there. The turtle transition. Woo! Oh jeez, I need help.